Hey guys, this is Patrick Hall with F Stoppers, and today I'm with Mike Kelly, architectural photographer. And are you from somewhere? You have a blog now, don't you? I do. I have a blog, and I'm from Los Angeles, or I'm wherever I'm from. Well, what's the blog name? AP Almanac. Yeah. AP Almanac. Yeah. Dot com. Yeah. So you can read all kinds of cool articles and stories just about architectural photography. You've had some popular articles recently about some like very popular articles what about to charge and what to license and when to t tell people to go screw themselves. Lots of good stuff about the business of architectural photography. Great. Well, today we are actually going to be critiquing swimwear photography. Are you ready for this? <laughs> yes. Actually, we're doing real estate. Real estate. Real estate. So real estate. I was so excited to do swimwear. What happened? Well, you know, maybe next time. We actually just had a big sale on Joey's swimwear tutorial. So oh, maybe, okay. maybe the next one will be that. Um, now, in the big scheme of things, where does real estate photography fall in the pecking order? Well, I mean, I think it's it's a it's it's kind serves, of it serves a need. You know, it's a it's a very specific genre of photography, and it's you know it's different than interior design or architectural photography. I guess it is architectural photography uh, with the purpose of selling homes, um, advertising for realtors. It's different than interior design or advertising or architecture. The main or, focus is on getting yeah. people to the house to, to the buy house. the property versus, yep. you know, some beautiful shot of the decor or something. Yep. Now, before we get into this critique, this video is sponsored. We have a sponsorship with Zools. And if you haven't heard of Zools, they're basically a backup solution and online storage platform. We've actually subscribed to two of their services, BigMind and Deep Archive. BigMind is secure with military grade encryption and has even AI technology that will help you conveniently sort, find, and preview any files easily and quickly. The other service that we signed up for is Deep Archive, which is great for any photographers that need to back up and store files long term at the lowest cost possible. You can back up from an unlimited number of devices and set up a plan for any amount of storage that you need. If you want to learn more about Zools, definitely check out the link in the description below. And before we dive into this, we need to pick a theme for the next video. So do you have a genre or an idea? I know you want to do swimwear, but like, is there something <laughs> else that you think people should submit? I think it would be cool to watch a... I've been really into Formula One lately, so how about car photography? Car photography. So if you want to submit your best car and automotive photography, head to the link below. You can upload your pictures to the F Stoppers community, and then in about a week or so, we will have somebody here to critique cars. All right, so let's jump into this. And as always, we will show the highest rated image first. That'd be sick. <laughs> we haven't shown oh them this yet. God. So hold your. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have the highest rated image, which is this one. You will win a free tutorial. So head over to fstoppers.com slash store and email us a tutorial that you would like. And then pick a random number, two through 20. 17. It's number 17, you are also going to win a tutorial. So when we get to that number, you can uh, email us as well. Now, um, we're also dressed as player one, player two. Like I'm red and you're blue. Okay. So I guess, I don't know what that means. I don't know either. I don't know. Up, up, down, just, left, A. It just happened to a, be. A, B. All right, so. All right, this is image number one? This is image number one. That's the, that's the highest rated or image number one? This is the highest rated image. All right, let's take a look at this. Now, have you shot a house that has a pool in a ceiling like this? No, I'm, I'm envious of this. Right, it was and I've shot some pretty cool homes. That's a pretty interesting house. Do you think you would like that? To drive you a little crazy, like looking up and seeing all the people swimming. I could tolerate that. You could tolerate yeah, it? Yeah, I, I don't know about you. You could. You might. I, I like the houses <laughs> where you can see through the pool from the side and it's more of like the movie theater. But like, well, I guess it would be strange if like- The sun was like your, the biggest sky. Invite like. your parents over and like they start swimming above you and it's like, that's weird, <laughs> you know? But it's really cool. Maybe there's a way to yeah, curtain it off or to something. To make the, the bottom opaque or something. All right, so we're gonna rate this one to five, right? Yes. I think I'm ready. Am I ready? I'm gonna go ahead and admit that like real estate photography, like I did a little bit of that. Yeah. Usually you and Lee seem to critique these more. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not, I don't have as keen of an eye as you. So maybe we'll balance each other out. Maybe I'll see things. Yeah, that you, I'm, I'm ready. You don't think, but I, I have a feeling I'm gonna learn a lot from you on this one. Three, two, one. Four. four. Yeah. Uh, with the caveat, like, it's it's incredible. The architecture is incredible. Um, the the image is helped by how insane the space is. It's right. a really good shot, but there's a lot of little nitpicky things that I think prevent it. I mean, yeah, the architecture is amazing and world class. The image is almost amazing and world class, but there's like little things 
that kind of bugged me. Like the crop lines are a little bit funky. The way the, the backs of the chairs and the pillows kind of intersect with the table. Uh, I think there's a lot of stuff that could have been like removed. It could have been opened up a little bit. But it is real estate photography. I know, well, I'm giving you a hard time because obviously you did spend a lot of time getting a guy in the pool there. This isn't like a run and gun real estate type of thing. I can think, I assume this is a higher end uh, photo shoot. So hopefully you had the time to kind of get in. But like, you know, you could move the table out a little bit. You could kind of spread out some of the furniture in the foreground. The, the cushions on the back of the chair aren't really even. It's just like really easy uh, moves that would make this read a little bit better. And I think you could have not cropped so close to that chair back on the left. I think the window view is really nicely balanced. I love the guy in the pool. I think that's all perfect. So it's just tiny little things that, again, the architecture and the composition are fantastic, but it could still be improved, which is why I gave it a four instead of a five. When you get to a house that's this high end, yeah. your effort is going to be different than if you get to a house that you show up to the house and it's $200,000, right? You're going you're gonna to get excited about this and you're going to take more time. Yes. Hopefully, I'm gonna... you're, hopefully you're getting paid more too. Yeah. But would you go to those extra efforts to like, would you remove like, there seems to be two tables in the room. Would you move a table no, out to simplify it? I or would you say, you know what, this is, I'm still getting paid a couple hundred bucks or a thousand bucks. I need 30 well, images in a day. Personally, I think one of the reasons that I am kind of where I am is because no matter what I was shooting, I would take the extra time and take it seriously and clean things up and tidy and rearrange and organize and style. No matter what I was getting paid, you know, I'd do the best I absolutely could. Um, and, and perhaps, I, I don't know the circumstances of the shoot, maybe there was an anal retentive homeowner and they said don't touch a thing right. because it was all worth more than, you know, just thousands of dollars or whatever. Uh, so that could have been the case, but unfortunately that led to a little bit of, you know, this situation where things still could have been improved slightly, right. if you know what I mean. So, How do you feel about the uh, the compositing of the, and the lighting of the pool. Like my eye keeps going to the pool and- I think your eye should go to the pool. <laughs> it's, but it's the most expensive part of this image, but yeah. something about the blue or the, the brightness of it. I mean, I know you can't make it dark blue because then it would look totally fake, but right. there's something hazy or, I just feel like there's something that could be done with the pool to make it feel a little more punchy. And I don't know if it's a gradient that starts on the top and gets darker and then goes to white. Or do you like the tone and ality and everything in the pool? Do you I think mean, it's there's the, a lot of ways you could go with it. I, I think it is a punchy image. It's a, maybe like a little bit too saturated for my taste. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Like the green and the trees outside are a little bit nuked. But um, I think the pool itself looks really good. But There's a second pool too. Oh, what's that? There's a second pool out there too. So <laughs> if swimming up there is yeah. your thing. No, I think, I think the pool looks great. I think you have to kind of you know, punch it up to make it read as a pool. I think putting the person in there, like if the, if the water was just oh, yeah, yeah, I agree. perfectly still, it's like, is that a window? Is that a pool? Yeah, it would look strange to, without the person. Yeah. Very cool image though. Yeah. I'm hoping this isn't our favorite image of the critique. We'll see. Many times it is. I think it's amazing, but we'll see. Community gives this a 3.39. Community is what harsh. What is wrong with the community? <laughs> what is wrong with them? All Ooh. right, image number two. All right. This has kind of now moved into like hospitality. Yeah, I guess hospitality, right? Okay. I think I'm ready. Both give it a three. Three, yeah. Before you give your wisdom, the one thing, I, I love this. I feel like all the leading lines, you know, are pretty solid and you can see the, you know, the border, you're shooting through some kind of door. Everything lines up really well. Yeah one point perspective straight in. I guess that little dolphin's on the window. Yeah. It's like a stick <laughs> or something. The one thing that I, I immediately think about though with this image, it looks really high end. It's just the light on the tables and everything looks a little yellow. And yeah, I don't know if you would have lit this with strobe or if you could have balanced this better in, in Lightroom to like bring out the yellow. No, I understand why it's yellow. I do think it is a little bit too yellow. The, the light on the tables. And uh, I mean, you don't want to go pure white, but I think it's just, if you split the difference between white and where you are now, it'd be a lot better. Also with the sun setting or rising in this image and then the incandescent lights, yeah. maybe there was a way to like make the side tables bluer and then your eye goes to like some of the tables, especially the ones that would be being hit by the light. Yeah. 
Maybe that's a little too complex I, for what this I needs to be, but even think it would be nice if the if the um, the colors inside were a little bit more neutral, and it was also a little bit darker inside as well, because I see it's kind of like brightness-wise, kind of flat. The interior is as bright as the exterior, and it kind of feels like unnatural and HDRE as a result, if that makes sense. So you would have brought down the interior. Just I like would have made it a, a third, little sexier, thirds, like a little moodier inside, and maybe a little brighter outside, just so that, bam, your eye goes right through. Because right now it kind of feels like everything is one brightness level from inside to outside. And I don't know if you feel that way, but... Um, I don't know if my eye, I mean, I still feel like the sky feels like the brightest part of the image. I guess technically it's the lamps, but yeah. I don't know that I feel like this is unrealistic to me, yeah. but I can see what you're saying. I think you may then need to pop some extra light or something in. Or just something, I just feel like the light inside kind of flat, you know, maybe yeah. that's what my issue is, and ev too even or something, and it, it might be because, like just because of that lighting, but I think there'd be a, a way to kind of punch it up the interior. And then I do I do feel like the um, the it's really crowded inside. Like the image yeah. doesn't breathe at all. And it has a lot of a lot of cool leading lines, but Would you move just, like the left and the right lines of tables further away or yeah, something? Like I, I don't know if again, I don't know if you had the time or what, what the conditions were, but if you could have removed one row of tables or something. Like over here on the left, I, the, the, this just seems like there's these two these two chairs that are touching. It's just really busy, and especially yeah. when they don't on the other side. Yes. Do you feel like these just could have been pushed in, or is there a point where you don't want to have the tables, the chairs pushed in too far? Well, I, I definitely like. You could even have moved this left uh, column of tables out of the frame a little bit, so maybe like half of it's in the frame. I just feel like there's there's nowhere for me to visually yeah. ground myself. It I can't really busy. see the floor anywhere, you know. It, and it, just it reminds like me of like, you know, if you were dying on a cruise ship or something. Yeah, just totally. Trying to they just try to ton stuff as many people in as possible. As we go through this too, like you're really good with uh, strobe light and flash pops, but then you're shooting a lot more natural light now too in your portfolio. Yeah. So I think it'd be interesting to comment on that. Right. To me, this this clearly looks like a, a more natural Mostly shot. Mostly natural, yeah. Whereas the other one, the previous shot, I mean, there's been a lot of light painting and stuff. Yeah, this. there's definitely something going on. Looks like there's you been lighting the added. chairs and like there's... Right. It could be totally natural, and we could be wrong, but... Let's see what the community says. Community gives us a 3.12, 3. so exactly where we were. All right, here we are, image number three. Is this in Chernobyl? This is like the basement. This is where they had the cooling problem. They had to, they had to get the water pipes to... Like oh, and they had to put the suits on. Yeah, and, yeah this yeah. is where they were at, right? <laughs> like, there's the three divers Did right they, there. Did they survive coming out of here? I don't think so. This is a wild looking. Yes, it is. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Like, are we looking through glass? I think we are. Or is it half above water and half below water? Underwater with a water housing looking at the bottom of the pool. It looks like some kind of therapy swim thing. I would hope so, because this doesn't look like a normal, luxurious lounge around pool. You ready? Cool. Um, yeah. Two, one, two. Let me just start with the obvious for me. Like, the color grading on this looks kind of crazy. A little funky, yeah. Especially, like, the green up in the left. And I yeah. think that's the joke I made with the Chernobyl <laughs> comment is it just feels super grungy. Evil. It doesn't feel inviting. Right. This doesn't feel like, if it's therapeutic, I feel like, you know, you're in the nursing home. and Yeah, like, you're it, it not feels very hospitally and sterile. Yeah. I, I'm assuming that this is some kind of aquatic therapy pool at a hotel or something like that. But it doesn't really feel like it. It feels like a clinical, yeah. sterile, and like, you know, there's like the door. The, the composition doesn't really tell me too much about it. That's the biggest problem I think I have besides the color is like the lines and everything, they all lead you into this fountain, but then the fountain's kind of pouring to the left of the frame. I just feel like it leads my eye, but not in like a flattering yeah. way. And then there's like a really heavy vignette. And like, you guys know I love the vignette, but... Um, it's just almost looks like smoke damage over here on the right, you know? Yeah. It's just a little bit too over-processed. Like a like better composition, a better choice of lighting. Like the light's really flat, you know? Um, I would assume this, this is all natural light as yeah. well. Like this is a situation where I would, you know, take the lighting into my own hands and try to make something a little bit sexier. What do you think of this whole shooting halfway underwater and above water? I don't know that I've seen a lot of that in real estate I don't think it works here because like, it, it looks like like it's spent 
fuel pool or something. You know, <laughs> it, I, I think I know it's what like this a cooling is. station. It's yeah, <laughs> this is like a lounger, but the, the perspective is messed up. I think you're supposed to sit in that in that yeah. deep part of it there, and it's maybe bubbles come up or it's heated or something. I don't know. Um, and if we're wrong, then I can't blame us because and I have no idea what we're looking what at. What are the trap doors down here? Is this for like storing the bodies? Like you no, open I, those up and push the people down there? Maybe it's not. I don't, I just, I can't figure out what it is. Like there's some water, there's some nuclear cooling rods from left to right. So I just don't know what I'm looking at. Um, obviously it's some kind of spa resort therapy pool, but it, I don't know what beyond that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this looks kind of crazy to me and... Like I said, it just doesn't look inviting. Yeah. And maybe you could make this much better with a little bit better composition. And then I think if you just light painted or brought in your own lighting to help make. Like put a model in there or something so you know what we're looking at. Yeah, and I know with you know some of these, these jobs, like even having a model, especially a model that needs to look good in a swimsuit. It's a lot of work. Half underwater, like, yeah. that can be pretty complicated. But I just think you gotta get rid of the green, sterile, nuclear power plant. Field. Nuclear. <laughs> yeah, this looks this looks like a like a nuclear cooling station or something. I just I don't know. I feel like the chlorine's so heavy in this pool that I don't want to get in it. Nuclear, yes. And I love I love I've been lounging in a lot of pools lately. You know, <laughs> I don't think this would be one that I'd want to be in. Better comp. So to be helpful, better composition, better lighting, more descriptive photo, right? Yeah. Yes. Community says two. Two point three. Good at this. All right. Oh, that's awesome. These are your, uh, your like box homes that you love so much. <laughs> your dream house is to have a ho home in the middle of nowhere that looks like super modern. And, you know, a shoe box, a white box. That, that's what they think my dream home is, but I'm ready. Already ready, huh? Yep. One look and I know. It's one like, look it's like and you know the story. Los Hermanos, one taste and you'll know. One look and I know. Come on, this is so simple. Okay, obvious. three, two, one. Boom. Four? <laughs> five. You went five on I went this? five on that. This is your favorite image? I of the would put team? that in my portfolio right now. Really? Yeah, great shot. I mean, unless I'm not seeing things, but. I mean, are you going, again, we're, this is where it gets a little difficult. The we're light looking at is beautiful. Yeah. The composition is phenomenal. The architecture is great. I love the natural environment framing the house. I think it's dynamic. It's got a lot of motion. The colors aren't oversaturated. The sky is done beautifully. What, what, I mean, maybe you could put, like, you could, like, yes, it could be improved, but I don't know what the client wanted. You could put some furniture out there on the deck. You could put some people, but then it might get a little too overstuffed. I just think it's beautiful and simple and it's a great shot. It's all there is to it. It is a good shot. I just, I feel like... It has mood. I, I, can, I can like hear the crickets chirping in the background and I can feel the warmth. I'm done. I'm just Bye trying day. to think if like, if this would stop me in my tracks if I'm going through the Zillow listing and like scrolling through this. This is a cool house. I assume this is one house. So you admit. It is. It's just something about like the dead space on the right and the like grass. It makes it, me it feel. It breathes a little bit. It it's atmospheric. Little, I, I see it a little maybe bit. Maybe it could be four. Maybe I got a little overzealous on the five. Like there's things. I that, think you're just reading a lot into this because you like this type of architecture. I, I think, no, I think like all the things that make it a great photo were there, in my opinion. Could this you is, improve it depending on the client? Yes. You know, but for what it is, I think it's. I just, I feel like I would crop a little bit of the right out. Yeah, but I like that width. I like the nature. I think it's cool. You know, we're not in the city. Let's show that. It's not like there's tenement houses next to it. Let's make it look like it's in this great I setting. I mean, I see what you're saying. I'm just trying to, like, imagine. Is this, like, jumping off the page like so many other images would? Like, I could see that as a two-page spread in a magazine, you know? And there's, like, a, you know, the title up there, and it's, like, photos by The problem by I'm whoever. having here is I just, I don't know that I can ever be articulate enough to say, like, what I do or don't like about it. I think, to me, it's very simple. Atmosphere. Five star, though. Like, I, okay, like I said, I could, this, if like, I could say 4.5, I could. Yes, I think it's a very memorable shot. Like, if I saw that five years from now, I'd be like, oh, that's the, the picture we did in the critique, you know? And I went nuts. Well, in five years, we'll have to But I, it's, a, it's a very and... kind of, like, me picture, which is maybe why I like it so much. Like, it has that this golden light. This is more light. in your style. It has the cool sky. It has the sort of natural surrounds. It's got, like, a great motion and flow to it. I love the color grading. 
but like yes, when you zoom in, like could you add some people and maybe lighten it up a little bit? Sure, but I think it's really cool. Great architecture, great photo, great processing, great composition. I think it's all there. I'm going to disappoint everybody and just say I don't know how to <laughs> articulate why this doesn't jump above a three to me. And maybe it's just aesthetics. Like I feel like the framing on this house looks like steel I-beams and it looks kind of like they've taken, you know, old like, materials and like put them into this, like the back for, of this house and the windows and stuff look really nice, but something about it just, it, it doesn't look I mean, like okay, a, If a you house were looking up houses to buy, on a real estate, you're on Zillow or whatever, and you saw that picture. I don't think I'd Don't tell this me house. you'd be like, damn. No. But I, you'd go and you'd look through and you'd be like, what do they want for it? Where is it? I would be curious. Compared to the and rest maybe, of the crap maybe this that you comes see down on the to market. just our differences in architecture. But yeah. like for me, I wouldn't be like, you know what, I should consider buying this house. Like this Not is not like consider consent. buying it, but like it would like you're you're flipping and you see like crappy HDR with the verticals wrong oh followed gosh, by that's true. Like you'd Zillow be like, Whoa. is filled with horrible so in the spirit of real estate images. I think in a photography standpoint, this is pretty good. I think where I'm He's warming having, up, he's warming up. I think this belongs in your portfolio and I think it shows range. I just think that like for me, this subject matter, this house is a little weird. It's just the style of it, you know, and maybe this is really popular and, you know. It looks like Europe. The I'm Nordic it's area. Europe. Yeah, it's, this isn't something you see in the United States all that much. And I don't know if that should really affect my opinion of it, but I'd move in like tomorrow. It looks amazing. I don't. I just. I'm not a big fan of the. What are these called? Just the, the cantilevered. You cantilevered know, like screen tops. Screen yeah, they're things. just they're a little weird, a little industrial to me. The back of the house and the windows, those all look really cool. And then it reminds me of the house in Hawaii that we shot. You know, like if the it was the lava one or the the they had the lava house with like the you know it had the sort of yeah patio overlooking yeah with the cantilevered. I like that house a lot. All right, better. I say. Wow, I don't know anything anymore, guys. 3.1. <laughs> I mean, our community is very, very harsh. So The community is very harsh. Um, I wouldn't say that you were wrong, but they agree with me more on this one. Fair. Now, this one, the saturation is a little more subtle. This reminds me of Lee's dome house shot. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. This, like, the sky and everything reminds me of, is it like the, the movie poster for the movie Fright Night? It looks like Stran the Stranger Things. Stranger Things. It's like a <laughs> horror movie where there's, like, a demon coming out of the yes. house and this, like, the moon and everything. And then I just had, like, a lot of health stuff going on. That was the last video we released. And so this looks like the place that I get my colonoscopy. <laughs> like so, like, I look and at this like and I'm just like, striking in the yeah, background I'm about to go in there and the have a doctor like, you know, <laughs> probing around. Um... Obviously, the saturation's crazy. Yeah. The perspective, something's weird. Like, maybe it's just shot too it's wide. It's got a little converging lines. Would you just take a step further back and get less of the distortion? No, and then crop I think in this conversation kind of perfectly highlights uh, why we got into it on the last picture. If this was a movie poster, it might be a four. And it had, like, the Stranger Things logo or whatever. Well, it still would need but more work. Of course. That's why I said four, not five. But <laughs> for real estate, for trying to sell, this is not selling me. This looks like the haunting. Yeah, you it's know like I mean? this movie poster is like the nursing home. Yeah, so it's all about the intent. Or, and if that is a nursing home, like, like do I want to put my father in there? You not at I mean? night, like, yeah. No. Like, <laughs> you might as well have them walking around with the stretchers, you know, the walkers and stuff. You Night can, of the like, Living Dead. You hear the like, creepy ambient music in the background, you know? All right, so we've obviously been ripping this image apart in a funny way, but the saturation's crazy. The lighting is just, you know, it's not a good time to be shooting. This is far beyond, right. you know, a good blue hour. And then your light on the is underneath the entrance is so bright that it's now affecting the whole scene. Uncanny Valley thing going on with the moon. The moon's obviously been replaced. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it feels so like big and on top of us. It's like, you know, it's like, it just feels fake. You know what I mean? It's kind of oversaturated. I assume this is like commercial real estate at this point, right? This yeah. is clearly a commercial, I mean, we can right. zoom in and it's, it's like. Oh, it looks like an apartment uh, oh, leasing office. Yeah, leasing yeah. office. Well, I just think if you're trying to grab potential renters attention, you know. Right. This is not the way to do it's it. Just, uh, it's just it's a much. little bit like, yes, it's a one-point perspective, but because it's so stark, I don't think the one-point perspective helps. It makes it look like the house on the hill or something, yeah. you know? 
like maybe a two point is better here at a better time of day with like some sunlight. So like golden hour doesn't feel as, like you have to try as hard to pull something good now out. Now in the last picture they did a very wide yeah. kind of you know aspect ratio. Would you have cut out more of the parking lot? Do you feel like the parking lot? Well, I would have gone I would have gone a little wider so that we're not like, you know, cramped on the corners. And I don't need to see more parking lot but more sky like more the more sky the better pictures usually feel to like a human eye in my opinion is a kind yeah. of good rhyme there but um you know like sky people like a blue sky rather than you know it just helps the picture breathe a little bit it relaxes it it doesn't feel so cramped and tight yeah um do you feel like you know i think a lot of people's fear shooting real estate is that the the commissioner is going to come back and say hey come back out here and redo the shot yeah what are the chances that that the client is not happy with this um, is this the look you think they're going for, or do you think this was the end of the day and I still haven't gotten the shot? Or I, they're trying to be artistic. And let's just like, say if I was trying to sell apartments and I got this picture, I'd be like, I'm not going to rent this to anyone yeah. because it just is too over the top. If, I'm, I'm telling you right now, just go back at an hour before sunset, expose for the exterior, shoot a little bit wider, get some golden light on this thing, and you'll sell way more apartments if that's the leasing office. That's what I'm assuming is happening here. Community says 2.22. It needs a little bit of work. Hmm. Ready? Yeah. Three. Do, do, two. Three, two, three, two. I think this image would be good to deliver to the client. And if you're scrolling through Zillow and you're looking at properties, right. I think this is an image that is needed yeah. because it shows you the layout of the house. It yeah. shows you the, the ceiling. It shows you the windows and everything. But I don't think this is the type of image that I would put in my portfolio. I'm That's trying what a to three separate is. the shot from the interior. What does that mean? Like, I like the composition. I just hate the red, and I hate the railings, and I hate the, you know, the columns uh, of the, you know. So you like where they place the camera, but you hate everything else about the camera. Yes. Product. Like, I like the ce The ceiling's pretty cool. I just It just feels like, like a video game or something to me, doesn't it? It feels like like a Counter-Strike map or something. It kind of dates me, doesn't it? But um, I, 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 I love the idea of, I like the composition, like there's a lot of motion in it. And I like the graphic sort of approach that they're going for. But I can't separate it from the very bizarre interior, in my opinion. I don't know, it's like just this clash of styles and we've got this like brutalist ceiling and these weird banisters and I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. But I feel like my eye also goes a lot towards the left staircase. And yeah. when we just came from this exterior yeah. horror movie poster and it's into this, I feel like I'm now <laughs> inside that building. Yeah. And I want, even if there's no windows, I, I want to see a little light up there. Some light yeah. that's coming down right. and at least making it feel like the upstairs is inviting. Um, and maybe that could have been done just with a little dodging or just bringing right. up the exposure a little bit or opening a door and you don't need strobes or anything, but. So yes, I do like, I like the composition. I just don't feel like it works with this situation in front of the camera. You know what I mean? Is there anything, I know it's hard to do this when you're not there, but is there any way that you could have like made this a vertical or you think you could have excluded something out to make it seem like, could you have shot more down the right-hand side and seen more of the, yeah, the floorboards or, or, or something? Like, it's, it's so, like I said, it's so hard without being there. But I, I wonder if, like, backing up a little bit and I raising assume, the camera, not, not shooting wider, but just backing up so that this line wasn't going straight through the frame uh, left to right. I assume that this is a pretty narrow space. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's a door behind us or if there's just a wall or what, but... Like I said, it's You'd impossible be without something, being there. Because otherwise, why would they have this level? Yeah, you know? like, right. There's got to be something back right. there. But. That's like a tower. So I said two, you said three. Two, yeah, we'll say it's 2.5. 2.75. So yeah. people like this a little right. bit more than I do. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Wow, that pool does look pretty nice. I like the design of it. Yeah. I just want to crop away the house and make some abstract landscape photo out of what? that. What? You're more interested <laughs> in the ocean? All right, ready? I am ready. Three, two, one, three. Yeah. 
I almost could go for, like there's something about this that's really unique. And, and maybe I don't look at enough real estate photos to know what's in fashion and what's not. But this downward look is pretty cool. Obviously it exposes some of the issues with the roof. Yeah. And if you're looking at it from a strictly, you know. Yeah, I don't know is it, if it's from a drone or from an adjacent building. If it's from a drone, it's gotta be a why drone. didn't you fly right over and get the vertical lines straight on the right-hand side of the camera? You see how it's like mm. skewed? If it's from an adjacent building, I can kind of forgive it, but all you need to do is just pull the corners a tiny bit more and you're in business. So I Yeah, don't I would think that like, you know, I haven't done a lot of aerial photography with a drone, but I would have thought that. Even that's better. Just get rid of that. Just like crop in just enough. Hanger to corner, like this weird. So you don't like the little here. courtyard, the little bit of grass on the far right of the screen no, where you see it. I don't. I can like, just imagine lining this up with a drone and getting all your verticals straight and everything. Could what if be they just got nightmare. rid of the house? Like that is way cooler, you know? Just cut off the roof just line. The pool and the water. Like that is amazing to me. I can't really get it on here. But like. You know, but st that's still the best shot right there. <laughs> so you don't like, you're saying get rid of the house entirely or just get rid of the roof, the middle of the roof line and cut? Well, I, I'm just, I'm just getting artsy with it, but I, I, I really, I think the shot's as good as it's going to get if, if you've gotten rid of that tiny slice of, of lawn where you can see that it's not quite straight. Yeah. Um, and it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a real estate picture anymore if we got rid of the house. It'd be like fine art. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So for real estate, I think it really does a good job. The I lighting just, on this photo. I think it's is gorgeous. Amazing. Yeah. Like, look at all the highlights and shadows and the palm trees and like. Which you is, still have the ocean, which looks good. Like, isn't that better? Like when you just crop it a little bit more, as far as like you know. So it's like, like you, it you got bit. it. I still see this line now, though. Like the yeah, closer so it's, you it's crop slightly, in. You went 95% of the way there, and then you gave up on you making it straight, and that kills me inside a little bit. Very cool shot though. Like this totally. one will stand out more than anything we've seen so far. Yeah. I'm just I'm just playing with it because it's so freaking cool. Like that's kind of neat too, you know. I don't know if you guys can see that. That almost looks like two different images. Isn't that like it's which like, is kind of like cool because fine arty or something. You start looking at it and you say this isn't a layout. Yeah. There's palm trees going over the line, and this is the a single photo, but. When you quickly glance at it, it looks like two shots. Yeah, I, and I love it. It's like kind of abstraction. So I think it's like, it's so close to an amazing picture, but it, it's not quite there yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I do. I think it's one of my favorite images. And I've I, seen. I really like the idea of it. The execution just needs to get pushed a little bit further to take it all the way. So it's like it's three, but it's close to a five. You know what I mean? For in some weird way. Yeah. I Muni mean, says 3.02. That's a pretty cool picture, though. Do 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 do. <laughs> Three, two, one. I just think this is a simple. I mean, it's never gonna. It, it is. It is what it is. It's a bedroom, but like, there's just a lot of quick things that bug me, like the mess underneath the nightstand, the two yeah. different color temperature lights, the brightness of the interior. Uh, I think the whole picture could be brought up a stop. Like we've exposed for the exterior, but the interior, you didn't, it's just a stop under. Ideally, the interior should be a stop brighter and the exterior should be like one or two stops over what the camera thinks is the right exposure. So it's a little bit more blown out. Um, what do you think of this view? Would you, you want as much light coming in. I know why they did this, but yeah. it also feels like Every neighbor is looking into your bedroom. Yeah. Would you have brought the curtain down a little bit? I mean, obviously you can't add shears and like, you can't redecorate this, but. No, I just blow it out and let, let like this nice bright light kind of wash over the scene, you know? Yeah. So kind of hide what's there with an overexposed. Right. And, and take a bad quality and turn it into a good one. So rather than saying, oh, this is just like brick prison looking building next to us. Like, oh, it's really bright outside and you get this great natural light. You know what I mean? In terms of the general composition, I mean, obviously you have this, you know, poster bed with the yep. line going right down the frame. Yeah. My eye keeps going to that, but I when I look at, you always talk about walking through the frame yeah. and not tripping over stuff. I feel like I like the composition pretty well, but then a part of that composition is the bed itself. Yeah. And I don't know if that's a staged property or if it's this what people own, but you know, there's not really any getting around that. It looks like it's New York City and it's really tight. Um, it has that lived-in quality that you like. It they does have that lived-in. They lived didn't in even <laughs> worry about making the bed or hiding the slats or anything. Very funny. 
All right, community says 1.84. Definitely needs work before hitting your portfolio. Ready? Yep, three, two, one, three. I think my biggest issue with this image is maybe like composition, which I feel like you can, there's something wonky about it. It just feels like this is framed up so much in the center. I mean, I see why they composed the way they did. Yeah. Doesn't mean I love it. I don't really They went for the sign. Like this right. is the most obvious way to have the But the I think logos. you can significantly tighten up. And I think the whole thing is just a stop underexposed, you know? You'd like to see the building a little brighter. I want to see the, and there's a lot of yellow going on. Like, I like my yellows a bit more. This looks like. Parking lot yellow? Like yeah, that. like, I, it's like caution yellow. I'd, I'd rather see like champagne, like a very faint yellow. Yeah. Rather than a. Yeah, now like, I, you know, now that I'm aware of that, you know, it would be kind of cool in the logo with all the lines. Right. But then to have it in the interior yeah. have, you know, like a lighter yellow, yeah. I think would look a lot better. Yeah. And then it would make the sign and everything stand out a little right. bit more. I mean, in some sense, it's like you can't really change the color of what they've installed in the building. Right. But you, you also can, have the interpretive you push faction it a little. Yeah, yeah. Like, of what your camera considers correct and too warm, too cold. but. I feel like I'd also like to see like some traffic or people or something, you know? Like you have the traffic out here, but like you do a lot of blurring people walking through the scenes and stuff like that. Just like some, you know, doesn't that feel better or instantly just like Zooming cropping in? in? Yeah. Making it larger and a larger part right. of the frame. Um, like photos are generally more impactful when the subject is bigger. I, I think I do like that. Like I don't know that you need to see the freeway. I don't need to see the highway. I don't need to see the parking on the left or whatever. Just punch yeah, so in. We've just like zoomed in yeah. significantly. I agree. Community says three. 2.73, so very close to us. Still needs a little bit of work, but yeah. very cool building and I think it has a lot of potential. But Even easy, just with the fixes. Files. Yeah, I, don't, I think you have it. It's like right. you just open this up in, in Photoshop and tweak a few little things and maybe mess with the crop. And I think you got it. Mm, what have we here? I cannot tell what I'm looking at. It's a bathroom. Oh, I know it's a bathroom. <laughs> I've, I've, used, I've used one of those before. <laughs> but I'm saying like it almost has this like mirror dance studio. Everything's reflecting. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm kind of constantly trying to figure out like. There's a lot going on here. I think what throws me off is this little line on the bottom left. It's like it feels like a reflection, but it's not. It's another room. I don't know why my mind thinks that. Maybe it's because the color of that wood is a little different than it's just it had. Doesn't that look like a mirror? Yeah, it does. A little part. It looks like there. a like I said a dance studio or something. Yeah, that's just what I just said. Ready? I think so. Three, two, one. Mm, mm, soft three. I don't maybe. I mean, I feel like if you had this in your portfolio and somebody was just going through it quickly, this isn't yeah. like offensive. This isn't like yeah. This, this makes you feel like you know what you're doing, and it's an interesting room. Here's what drives me crazy: the brightness of the upper part of the frame compared to the brightness of the windows makes the whole thing look like a. It looks like the the windows are art that was hung on the wall rather yeah. than windows. So you would like those just more blown out and bright. Yeah. Well, see how like this is like two stops overexposed up here, yeah, and then nice. this is just like. This is like one two hundredth of a second, but the ceiling's like one eighth or something. I don't know why. Uh, I'd rather just blow them out, you know? And I don't think this composition is n the best. I mean, I get it. I get why. But given like the reflectivity of everything, like you said, the maybe a two point would have been better. I don't know. It's hard to say without being there. I don't know what was around us, but. There's a lot of reflections, like on the floor, that yeah. I don't, it gets a little messy there, but then there's also some kind of reflection up here on the showers that make it almost impossible to know what's going yeah, like on it, there. Yeah, it, it's hard to see what... And then what is this? Is there another shower head up here? Or is the shower reflecting in the glass? I just feel like it's simpler, like you're trying to get everything, and I get the one point perspective. Well, now that I look at this, Man, I'm really thrown off. I feel like that is a mirror on the left. It's gotta be. 
But this window is what throws you off because that window would have to be somewhere behind the camera, maybe? Yeah, it's... No, it's a weird optical illusion. Well, that's a mirror reflecting that window, but again, the exposure values on the windows are different, which is messing with me. And then there's another reflection of the window over here. Yeah, I don't know if one point... Because, like, through all these different layers of glass... Okay, here, I figured it out. Wood. Yeah. Shower, because you see that one degree drain, right, on yeah. the floor? See how it slopes to the left? That is a mirror. There's one shower head, but it looks like there's three because of all the glass reflections. You walk around glass to take a tub. The tub faces the vanity. Well, it makes sense it's a mirror now because it's the like wall could never be that thin. Right. That's like the thinnest wall ever. It's like right. you took a two by four and you put it the wrong direction and it's even, le you know, it's like an inch thick. So it's just visually confusing. And I think there's a better comp. There's got to be a better composition in here somewhere. Uh, but again, I understand why you did what you did. I just don't feel like this was... Is there a way, in, and I don't know what we're getting caught up with the mirror thing, but is, would there be a way to add a gradient or do something to where... Yeah, that to like looks like make a it mirror. look more like a mirror. Even yeah. if you saw the reflection, you did something to make it feel more like a mirror because it's really, it's it's like taking my mind out of the photography and making me try to figure out the layout of the house. Simplify, simplify, simplify. All right, ready? Sure. Three. Three point two three. When you see it small though, it's still a cool photo. Like I think. Yeah, I just like think you said the windows <laughs> might be a little too dark. Yep. But it's just visually confusing for... Especially, like, if you see the reflection in the far window. Like yeah. That's the most blown out of all three. I know, and it's brighter than... Yeah. All right, shall we? Yeah. All right, ready? I think so. Three, two, one, three. Yeah, I'm a three. Like, I see there was an attempt... But the execution, well, I think the first problem is the composition. It's just too wide. Yeah. I don't know that realtors are always like, show everything, but they're wrong. Um, what happens is the important things are so small in the background. Like, assuming this is for real estate, like, I don't need to see the yard on the wall. It's okay to show that there's a wall there, maybe, but you could zoom in a bit. There's so much floor, like a third of this picture is yeah. floor. You know what I mean? I, I think maybe we can show half, like that looks a lot better to me, personally, right off the bat. I'm just zooming in a little bit. It tells all the same information without so much stuff uh, being thrown. So you're cutting off the door on the left and right. just zooming in into like part of the back doors. Like I want to see the view. I want to see the indoor, outdoor. I think the outside is a little bit oversaturated. I think the chairs in the foreground are distorted a bit too much. And there's a lot going on with the stuff on the table. I know that it's staged by a stager and they all put out eight courses of plates on the table, which is absurd. Um, but I think there's a way to, s maybe there's like a better, more simple composition somewhere. I think the composition is the thing that makes it the most difficult. And it's just, a, you know, like everything is so tiny or so huge, there's no happy medium. Things don't feel natural, you know what I mean? Yeah, and there's something about the way the floors, I mean, they have just this like weird... Just, like, zooms you into the... Well, you had this is Lee had this issue in your competition video you just did where he shot the kitchen, and depending on how you looked at the the island, you said, if you put a marble, which way would it it's gonna roll? It's going to slide. He <laughs> thought it would go one way, you thought yeah. it would go another, and I was left thinking, like, yeah, it really does look strange, and the floors do that, too. It's like... That's why I'm, I'm a big advocate of the one-point perspective... 90% of my pictures are one point perspective, you know what I mean? Because you avoid that like sloping problem. And I but see the other here, like, one is to do The marbles what? are going to fall to the right off the table, but they're going to roll into the back room on the left. The other perspective you could do is a two point perspective, but none of the lines in this really... Well, you can, you can get away with it. You just got to zoom in. Like the marble's going to stay see, flat now. Yeah, you know? that looks really nice right there. Right I, there. I, do. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I know that the realtor is going to be like, this isn't 17 millimeters enough. I can't Go see wider. down the hallway. <laughs> but that's why you have a second shot for the hallway. All right. Uh, this is a 2.91. So we nailed that one. All right. Ooh. So we've left a world full of strobe light. It looks like we're in Norway now. And we've come back to a very natural lit shot. Is that chair 
Is that just the way it is, or is it distorted? <laughs> it looks like a Wonka chair. Yeah, I don't know if I like the... the is it, it's not even a recliner, it's just the chair, but... All right, you ready? Yep. Three, <sighs> two, one... Three. I want. I see a four in this easily. I see a four, yeah. Because it's it's such a cool space. Right. But it's little stuff like that chair. I don't know what you could even do with that. If you could flip them and put that one further yeah, away, rotate it and somewhere make the blue. or something, so it doesn't look like. It just looks like it's either moving it's really like fast or it's, it's or like stretched out or something. Something about the chair is strange. I do think it's a little bit too wide. And I, I don't know if the one point was the answer here. Maybe there's like a two point coming over the couch on the right towards the window to get the view. Like I see what you were doing. You wanted to get everything, but as a result of trying to get everything, you miss anything really important. Does that make sense? You know, like there's a little bit of view, a little bit of fireplace, a little bit of the kind of rustic charm of the skis over here. Yeah, I don't know. But nothing is super strong to me. Like what is the focus of this picture? It doesn't tell me a, a strong story of the living room. Like, I can see that it's really cool and has a lot of potential. I just... For me, it's just this chair and the light, like that big and thing you at can't the bottom. I see it, yeah. Like, why yeah. not put the light on the other side of the chair? Maybe. Problem solved. Or switch the two chairs. But again, it is supposed to be real estate photography. Did they have the time to do Maybe that? Maybe there's a way to take the little side table and yeah, put, that put that there in or front something. to block the chair. I don't right. know. Like... And these are all decisions, like, I know you've been in these situations where you overlook it, and then you come back, and, and it's easy like, as, ah. yeah, it's like armchair quarterbacks, and you're like, uh, why didn't you move the table <laughs> in front, yeah. and it would have fixed the chair? I understand all of that, but I don't know that the perspective bothers well, me. And I really I, like... There's, like, a lot of things that kind of tell me this was kind of a rush job, which might have been because it was real estate, but, like, you know, this lampshade. It's, it's tilted like, too back. Yeah, it's like tilted back. And then there's this light, which was not really touched at all, the sort of thin stem of that light. These are really tiny little details that I don't know. But there's, I there's stuff that's just like, oh, the space is so cool. If you spent five minutes perfecting this, that's it. Would you We're do anything different shot. with the lighting? Do you feel like this open... I, I like the open look, but is there something else you could have done to make it feel I a little more pop or... I mean, I would have like turned all the lights off up top and just gone for more of like a fireplace, like a feel, or you know, again, like there's multiple color temperatures kind of competing with the light. I don't know. I just feel like it's such a sexy space. The photograph could be a little sexier to me, like a cool blanket thrown. Like you know, I love that casual look. This yeah. is a very casual space. Yeah. I love the skis. I just feel like it's close, but no cigar. But you still gave it a three. I didn't give it a three. So well, still three is what needs work, right? No, three isn't. It belongs in your portfolio. Two needs work before hitting your portfolio. Oh. This image, like, I feel like it's mainly staging stuff. Yeah. Which is big. You can't go back and, and really fix that as easily. But right. I, if I was scrolling through a, a, somebody's portfolio and saw this, I think the space is interesting enough and it looks high end enough yep. that I don't feel like the photographer really stumbled. Yep. And that's kind of the telltale sign that like, oh, the photographer doesn't know what they're doing. I don't feel like they stumbled really here, but there is something else that could make it a little bit better. And I'm, Agreed. Again, having a hard time articulating what that is. 3.18, solid. Except that chair, man, that chair. All right, uh, where are we now? Somewhere north, hit the spruce and the mountains. All right, ready? I think I'm going to be a little harsh here. Three, two, one. Yeah. I think, again, scrolling through Zillow and having a client, I think they would be happy with this image. In fact, they'd probably tell you to shoot this image. But when you start to think, like, how do you get out of real estate and into the next, like, higher paying jobs, or... How do I make my portfolio as strong as possible? To me, this just looks a little generic. This is your ultra wide, the whole left of the frame, like, you know, the kitchen with the chairs, you can't even really read them. I just feel like it's too wide. You could totally zoom into the shot. And I assume that's what you were. Well, and, yeah, exactly. And like the tiniest things, like making that ottoman level with the bottom of the frame, parking up these pillows over here so they look 
intentionally nice. You know what I mean? Like it's just kind of sloppy and messy. Like I hiding. do love the coloring of this though. Like color is like, really cool. I feel like the white and the blues and the greens outside. Like yeah, but there's like, enough color inside with everything. Like just crop and like isn't that so much better? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What is this thing? Is it like a big subwoofer? It's like a big speaker or something. Yeah. You know, and it becomes a, about the view. Nature is the best art, right? So just put that front and center. Like, who cares about the furniture? If you're looking for a house and it has that view, you're going to be like, that's what I want. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? You're not, you're not going to want to see the view tiny back there at postage stamp size at 17 millimeters. All right. Community says 2.61. Solid. Like I said, a little zoom in. The processing was fine. Yeah, but I, really, I, I really like I think process. just like, just like, walking three steps forward and straightening the ottoman, you know, and stuff like that. Um, okay, we have a galactic house. Another movie poster. This looks like a romance novel cover. I know what was going on here. It's a family. They just celebrated 4th of July and they, they're inside this reading. Is the most American house in <laughs> history. <laughs> Even complete with the Honda Odyssey out in front or whatever that might be. All right, ready? Yeah. There was intent. And I, I, th I have a feeling like the person who took this photo, they were just kind of experimenting to see with techniques and whatnot. Um, but, you know, there's, there's things that kind of, it's just like a lot of little things that add up. Like the composition is a one point perspective, but it's not quite level, it kind of slants or slopes away. There's some kind of like lens distortion. The building looks like it's, sorry, the house looks like it's falling backwards because that vertical line on the left is not lined up with the left of the frame. Um, the lighting that they added on the bush in the front is really flat. It's kind of not a flattering direction for the bush. It just looks like this is grass like floating in the sky. Yeah, it's lit really weird. Like, I don't yeah. know where the light source is. I mean, there's a little bit of light on the ground. Yeah, that like the could. light's not motivated. Like I said, it looks like someone was experimenting with the technique. And that's right. well and good, you know, and you, you know how it works, but... A it, lot of times, you, what I assume you would have done is somehow lit the tree from higher up yeah. back. So it looks like the windows above... Or, or you're just coming from the house. You know, the yeah. light has to be motivated by something. Um, the interior light is kind of like, again, it's that, that weird psychedelic orange color and just back the minivan out of the driveway, man. Ready? What do you think of the stars? You're gonna ignore the most obvious part of this image? <laughs> um, like they live in the middle of nowhere where it's just, you know. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna go with the stars, um, make it a little more realistic. Dark I don't even know. I, yeah, I just don't even know if I like the stars. Like, Or just put a, a normal sky in, you know? I feel like that would be way stronger. Yeah. Like the stars is just kind of a weird choice. Again, it pushes this into like the movie poster realm. Yeah. It just makes you feel like. Yeah, it looks like there's like. A it's it's like something so not normal that normal home buyers would expect out of a photograph that they start to be skeptical when they when they see this. Yeah. You start to think like, well, what in the world? This doesn't look right. Like, no house looks like that under the stars with that much light. And I don't know. I think a, a normal traditional sky would look really nice. 2.19. I think that's pretty agreeable. Yeah, and when I see it small, it's it's still it, it if this is the type of house you're in the market for, it still does kind of grab your yeah, attention. Well, like it's not horrendous. It's either. not bad at all. I mean, it's just like the technique needs refining, yeah. you know? Yeah. Okay. Um ready? Goodness, you're quick with this. I know. You have a much more keen eye than me. <laughs> Um, yeah. Two. two. I think the processing is kind of nice. I just don't think the composition it does anything for me. Like, we don't need to see the wood in the top corner. We don't need to see the light. We don't I need to see this gravel. The gravel or the dirt or whatever. Like, just make it simple on yourself. Do a one point, walk Would 20 feet to the right. Yep. Do a one point perspective down that wall of glass into that sort of outdoor cooking area with the pool in the foreground. And that, that takes us from a two to a four, like almost instantly. I agree, I, I think that would look really nice. And you might be able to still show- Some of the ceiling the wood. right there. Yeah. yeah, like it's just, I feel like all these yeah. lines are going in really weird ways. Yeah. And I see Knock it, it out everybody with these two point perspectives. Well, I see it with, uh, now that I, I really, if you kind of squint and just look at it, I see what they're going for. They have these lines going diagonally, but 
it still just doesn't read as yeah, well. But as our marbles should. are rolling off the screen here. You know what I mean? Well, yes, side. the marbles are rolling <laughs> off the screen, and, and like they're rolling in this way. And I just think like you know the, just, the gravel with the driveway or whatever. It's just it's dirty enough to where it looks incomplete. Like that's your neighbor's property and it's dumb. yeah yeah. It doesn't come across as like ooh we've paved and put gravel on this really nice. But it's driveway. again, it's really easy to just kick this up a notch. Yeah. Just by composition alone. I do like the coloring though. I do like the color. Yeah. Feels nice and inviting, and the pool feels like a, a natural pool. Yeah. Three. 2.97. They like it more than us. Yep. Um, all right. We have a couch and an ottoman. This is kind of starting to break the real estate. Like, I know you're all about zooming in and not crop, not shooting super wide. Might be a little bit too. This is kind of getting in the realm of like yeah. interior design. Yeah, kind of like a Wayfair out advertisement. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, look at the couch. And for that, it might be a three or four, but for right. real estate, I mean, it doesn't really tell me anything about the house. It's more interiors. It's almost like more product photography than anything. Um, yeah, I keep going to the couch. I'm like, I kind of like that couch. It's like a tufted <laughs> couch. I like yeah, all like the, the little pinhead, you know, yeah. tack heads, pin whatever. Heads. They're not pinheads, but it's, what do they call it? The thumb? The, pinhead. The tack. I have a couch that has this. I don't know the name of that, but it's Yeah, the like the stitching in it, the big. Well, no, they actually. I know what you're talking I can't think of it for some reason because I'm hungry, but I know what you're talking well, about. You just had ribs. You didn't eat enough, did you? I didn't have that much food. All right, um, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I'm gonna go. You're soft. Two, three. You're. I'm gonna go two, for the sake that this doesn't really fit in the genre of interior. All right. Real estate. Um, like we said, if this was for you know if, product photography, yeah, if it was it lifestyle, might, yeah. if it's you know interior design, there's something about this this ottoman being out of focus that kind of drives me crazy. All right. I'm not a big fan of the ottoman to begin with, but right. it does tie in with the the colors of the pillows and everything yeah seems lined up i like the natural light feel there's a lot that i do like about this i'm just not sold that if you were in the market of trying to you know get realtors to book you that this would be an image you'd put in your portfolio and the community says 2.67 all right before we slide this, this is, is number 17 number 17 and you are the winner of a tutorial please you don't need to buy mics you go one, two, many. Went. There it is. Now you have a house very similar to this in your old portfolio, right? Probably. I think when we did where Art Meets Architecture one, I remember an image like this that's in the promo or something. Maybe it's just the driveway and like the. I mean, honestly, like for real estate, real estate, this is like as good as it gets. Yeah, this is a great picture. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind like, of bummed that this is the guy who won because I feel like he needs, maybe he will buy the Joey Swimwear tutorial. He wants to donate his tutorial to someone who yeah, needs it. Yeah, I don't know. Like, this is, uh, I feel like this guy knows what he's doing yeah. and uh, we haven't rated this yet. But. He's mastered the, oh, my only criticism is the windows are a little yellow, a little bit too, but that's personal. You know what I mean? And this, this, this bush on the top right could go. Um, but I, uh, like, if I'm looking for a house and this is the style of house that I wanted to buy, I'd be like, Wow, that let's, let's rate this tells me everything I need to know about the house. We've gotten far into yeah. this, so. All right, three, two, one, four. four. I could be three, three four. Three, four, yeah. And it's gonna be hard. I know a lot of people are like, where's all the fours and fives? But like with real estate photography, it's, it's kind of hard to, like what does a five in real estate photography look like? You start to get into a different genre of, you know, it starts to look like high it, end. Uh, yeah architectural photography and I know that distinguishing but I think this is a matter is very small crack in real estate shot what do you think of like this wetness and the blue like I keep going to this blue on the far left I'm not a big fan of the wet wet driveway look but some realtors go crazy for it I don't I just think it's a little bit cheesy um, would you desaturate any of that I is would just keep it dry bit? unless it was raining and then in which case you're yeah you have to right but uh, I would maybe tone it down and desaturate a little bit. I think the house itself is phenomenally processed and lit. The sky, maybe you could dial the opacity down to like 80 or 70%, so it's not so, but that's again, my personal style. I'm very subtle with it. Um, now this, this shot is not a two point perspective and it's also not a one point perspective. 
but for some reason it works. And I don't know if it works. Because far enough away that nothing is distorted. You know what I mean? So that's the key. And it doesn't look like anything is like falling out of, uh, of the frame. I mean, it is a little bit like, here's, here's where you see the problem. Like this, the left hand side of the house Looks, looks like it's on. in one point perspective, yeah. and the right looks like it's in two point perspective. So that's where things get a little bit funky. But if you move further left and zoom in, you're going to lose the door. Yeah. You move further right, you're going to lose this nice curve. So it's like, you know. But I think I think it, it, it works for what this is, you know. If it feels like he could back up 15 feet to minimize that, but then he might be in the in the woods. Who knows? You yeah. know what I mean? But I think, like, like you said, once you start to get into like really high-end real estate photography, it kind of becomes architectural photography. Where this what do you so think much this would look like if you just lit or brought down some of the light blending in the garden a little bit? Does it feel like it's, it's yeah, just it's a little kind of too punchy much? in there? I mean, it's nice. I like it, but I'm just I'm just trying to think like there's a very good chance that it's very dark. Right. That he's lit all of it, and that's the only reason your eye goes to it, but. I just wish, like, this one little plant here that kind of blocks the entrance. I see, I see a lot of oversaturation to my eye, but again, it could just be the device. Um, maybe just toning down the saturation would help. But I, it, I, I buy it, though, because there's, a, there's lights in the fountain, there's yeah. lights in the landscape. I can see some of them, you know what I mean? Like, right here, there's a light. Unlike the American house yeah. that had the lit tree that made no sense. This one, it looks very processed, but it still looks believable. You know? Also, these little pine trees on the, the left-hand side of the frame. You know, they're lit from the side of the house. Right, but they still look really good. Yeah, it's not like he just popped light straight from the camera's perspective. Community says... Are they going to say... Three. 3.31. What was the number one time, image? Yeah. The number one image was like three point... This, this is very close to being the top image. Yeah. Ooh. All right. I'll get down with that. This is very tricky when you're shooting towards a mirror. Yeah. I think I'm ready. You can have three, it's solid. Yeah. Um, I think it's nicely processed. I think it's nicely photographed. It doesn't, I mean, what doesn't blow me away is the subject matter, which is somewhat out of your hands, you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, the whites look great. See, like the glass here looks, Remember the shot with the mirror? Mm -hmm. Like the uh, the glass looks like glass, and it's got a nice, it's got a nice natural feel to it. I mean, I would say it's beautifully processed. I don't think it's a portfolio shot because it's just kind of a run of the mill bathroom. Kind of, I know that. Well, that's the definition of what the three is. Right. Like that's what a lot of people get upset with our rating system is they think it's so arbitrary. But like this is based on your portfolio and gaining new clients. Like that's how we approach these critiques. I mean, and so I think you could have this in your portfolio. That's why I gave it a three. Right. Because this will attract other people who want you to photograph their spaces in this way. The only thing that I might do is shift up to get a little bit of that chandelier. Yeah. I wouldn't go a lot more. I'd just go a tad more so it doesn't start to distort. Now, but the trick is if you have the tilt shift lens, you can right, just tilt you can up just and do it. But if you don't, you're going to start having tons of problems getting everything straight. Yep. Especially with the tightness of the space. You don't have a lot of room to... Is something going on? Like, it does feel like it's sloping to the left a little bit here. See how it's kind of very gently. So get those lines perfectly straight. And then that's how, kind of, that's how I feel you could improve this. So it's, it's almost there. Straighten it out a little bit. Get some chandelier. But processing is nice. It looks nice and natural, unlike yep. some of the previous shots. Community says 3.09. Solid. Good shot. All right. This is a pool. It is a pool. All right, ready? Yes. Three, two, one, two. Two. It needs a little work. Um, some of it's the house, so it's not entirely your fault. But I'd like to see less sky, more pool, less processing. I, I like the processing of the house, but the sky is way overdone, and the trees are way overdone. The blues in the pool are nuclear, or as you say, nuclear. Nuclear? Um, <laughs> How do you say it? Nuclear. Nuclear? Yeah. Nuclear? <laughs> you say the George Bush way. Nuclear? <laughs> um, I mean, do you disagree with anything I said there? 
a little no, higher no, no, perspective. No, 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 no. Yeah, I agree with everything you're saying. I'm yeah. just trying to think more of like, and also like you can tell with the sky, like I mean, yeah. the trees, if you haven't seen your sky replacement tutorial. Just ease up on the sky. You the sky's 30, a little crazy and you can see passing, the haloing yeah. and you just look at it and it looks cheap because you can see, yeah. you know, where the sky's eating into all the trees on the top. Yeah, I think the composition is the biggest thing. I mean, again, this in, this this backyard, I assume, is not the most flattering part of the house. Right. But you're trying to show it's, the pool. It's just also not that sexy of a house. You know what I mean? It's kind of like very yeah, modest. Yeah, but if you if you like zoomed in a lot and just really like yeah, or if we just like again more sky, less pool, I think you'd be in a yeah. better spot. Community says two point seven five. Solid. All right, next image. Hmm. Is this the last one? This is 20? the last one. Um, okay, ready? Yes, three, two, one, two? I'm going two. I went three. I like this. My chief complaint here is that the windows look like, like an LED screen at the airport or something, okay. rather than windows. What does that mean? It looks mean? like it's a painting because it's so underexposed. You yeah, know what they're I mean? just a little too dark. And I think the composition, again, we've got 30% couch. Like if you were to the left a little bit, so we weren't staring at the end of this couch, and... What if you just cropped in a little tighter and removed... Like we went like this? Well, I don't want to get rid of the, the crazy vines growing on the ceiling, which... That feels better. Yeah, I think you just you got to cut off the bottom part of the chair, like the the arm of the chair. Just it's too strong. It just in the frame. my eye just hits it and stops. Right. You know. I love the composition. I feel like the styling of this has that lived-in look. Yeah. Um, I see what you're saying now about the trees and the exterior just being a little too dark. But I really like this, and it's inter like this has this is very in fashion. Like I've never seen plants like that on the wall. Yeah. From a homeowner's perspective. Definitely like homeowner's perspective, that seems like a nightmare because I'm just imagining that, like ruining your wall. But it's really cool. It and so, like so the sky out there is like too blue, and I mean this is blown out, but the sky is way super blue, and then they've got. There's just an imbalance in everything, so it kind of looks like a like rendering or something, yeah. Rather than a photograph, I mean, outside should be the brightest part of the frame by far, and everything else should be should be significantly darker. So, I I do think like it has good bones, but crop wise and processing wise, I think it needs also to be. Also, the coffee table there, it's like it's kind of blown out. I guess so is. Yeah, the there's just funky processing going on. Um, I guess some of the couches too, but I feel like you could just bring that down just a touch. Yeah. And maybe even add some warmth to the top of the... And I wouldn't put the model outside. I'd put the model inside somewhere. On the couch. Opening the door. Walking out the door. You know? Yeah, it's like... I like that there's a person in this, but it, it makes it feel like she's the realtor showing the house or she doesn't live there. or There's something about it that makes a disconnect. And it's because she's outside, yeah. I think, but... I just think if, if you just strip away half the processing, right? What does that mean? Like, so you've got the this, windows. The, get, make the, let the windows blow out. There's nothing to see out there. I mean, let, leave a little green in it. Uh, I can say they added some light to get some, some more definition over here. I'm okay with that. Uh, just like take all of the processing that you did. Set the opacity to 50%, <laughs> and I think it'll look better because it'll just look more natural and better blended than what it is right now. And then crop, and I think you improve the photo. Keyword think. Agree, right. disagree? I, no, I agree. I think the cropping is the biggest thing. I, now that I see that arm chair, you know, the side of the yeah. couch, like that's just too much. 2.29. I think, I think just a few little adjustments, though. It, it belongs in your portfolio. Yeah. All right, guys. So that is it. 20 pictures. 20 pictures. If you want to submit to the next critique, and what was the theme again? Cars? Automotive? Yes, cars. Cars. Yes. So you're into Formula One? I am. It's my new thing. Uh, so I'd like to see some car photography. So I, I go to the link below it, and uh, submit your images, and then I don't know who will be judging that because I'm heading back to Puerto Rico. I'm going to LA. In LA, yeah. So, so we'll have somebody here to judge. Maybe, Lee, maybe, maybe Lee and I will do it down in Puerto Rico. Um, <laughs> there's some guys down there that, that have some nice cars, so maybe we'll get somebody who knows nothing about photography. But so go to the link below. You can submit your own images. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
And if you want to check out the tutorials that you could win in a future episode, or if you just want to learn more. You should bring in the model that you use for the shootout to judge the car photography. That Puerto Rico? Entertaining, yeah. You and Ellie? Is that Why? her name? You and Ellie, I think. I think that would be hysterical. But she had such bad taste in shoes. <laughs> so now you want her to judge them? I don't know, we've just been giving her a crap about the shoes. And now everywhere I go, I see the Fila shoes everywhere. Everywhere. Fila and Champion are like the two biggest brands at the moment. We don't understand, but anyway, check out fstoppers.com slash store so you can see the tutorials that we're giving away. You can also pick one of those up if you're interested in a specific genre. Thank you everyone for submitting. We really appreciate it. And we and hope also, you guys learned something. Stay tuned because you're going to be doing something very different here yes, soon on our I'll channel. You're going to be critiquing really high-end photography. And so if you're tired of seeing all the twos and threes and wondering why we weren't throwing more fours and fives, you're about to critique some really high-end stuff. Yeah. So we'll probably have that video done in the next week or so. So yep. stay tuned for that. But So thank you again, guys. Enjoyed it. We'll see you guys soon.